Hey guys, this is Peter, and this week I have something cool for you. I have a shootout between three different 4G LTE modems. Now, a 4G LTE modem is, uh, well, it's a radio of sorts, and you put a SIM card into it from your telco provider, and it allows you to get the internet over it. So it's pretty cool. It, this is part of a whole series that I've been doing, but today I'm going to take three different radios and compare them using the same location, the same time period, the same SIM card. Uh, the same antenna pointing at the same towers from the exact same spot. So we're really going to get a good comparison. I'm also going to take a look at a couple features that a lot of you asked me to look for. One of them is band blocking. And why would you want to band block? Don't you just want the best signal out there? Not necessarily. Your best signal may not actually be your best carrier, may not yield your fastest results. So you may actually want to tune in to a particular band and lock it and say only pick up band four and it'll do that so here's the uh, radios i'm going to look at today and what i really like about them is they represent way different price points this one is called mophi and it's a great one i like it because it covers all my t-mobile verizon uh, at&t it covers all the major bands we learned in earlier videos, you got to match your bands you got to find out where your cell tower is and what band it's putting out or you can just say, this one works with, this one actually covers all the T-Mobile bands. Check my earlier videos. I go over all the different bands of all the different providers, different geographical locations from Canada to the UK, and what bands you, you need. The US is the craziest. We have bands all over the place. It is a large country after all. But I'm going to take a this, look at this one. This one is the Cadillac. This is $299 and has some great firmware with some great options. So yes, you can do all your time to live things. You can do your band locking, all of that. Uh, a lot of people like this option, but say, oh, it's a little bit expensive. I wish there was something else. We're going to take a look at some of those too. This one is the Kufi. It actually has the same bands and it is much less expensive. This one is $159. I have that one here too. So we're going to take a look at that one. And I also have a different one. This one is by Yecom. It also has external antennas. You can access them from the back. The back. We're going to be doing all of that. Look at this price point. It's 99 bucks and has a feature that none of the other ones have. You can plug in a landline, pick up the phone, and talk on it. Pretty darn cool. It uses the same phone number that's associated with your SIM card. So uh, I also did learn a lot by talking to my T-Mobile representative. If you think you're just going to buy this and stick it in and you're not going to have any problems, that's probably not realistic. You're always going to have to call somebody and turn on some of these plans. And let me just go and talk about some of these plans and what I've learned. Um, the first one, at first, uh, the guy told me, he goes, just ignore the essentials one. That's not for you. And he's right. It's not for me, but maybe it's for you. There's a lot of different reasons you may want to use one of these modems. Maybe you're a nomadic or you're a, a living off the grid. So maybe you're living on a boat. Maybe you have an RV. Maybe you like to camp. Maybe you're a tailgater. These are all great examples of someone that would want to use one of these. Uh, maybe you have a second house and you're like, you know, I don't use the internet that much. I'm tired of paying 70 bucks a month. Some months I don't even go there. This would be great. In fact, you could carry it with you. Uh, so uh, some people, they can't get the uh, good, uh, good internet service provider down their street because it's a private street, or they can't get it uh, in their area, but their phone works fine. This would be excellent. So a lot of people say, I'm waiting for 5G. Not necessarily. 5G and all you've heard about 5G is about huge speeds. Huge speeds are great if you're very close to the tower. Uh, when you have a high carrier, it dissipates. Take, for example, you're listening to music uh, in your car and someone else drives and you can hear their music. What do you hear? You hear the bass because low frequencies penetrate stuff. They go the distance. High frequencies, they disappear like mad. Same with the, all of these signals we're trying to get. So anyway... Essentials, 26 bucks. I really like this one. They did tell me if you live in a populated area like I do, like San Jose, and it gets congested, these ones go down first. So if you were like, hey, I'm kind of on a fixed income. I know how to use Netflix. I know how to uh, pull things down when it's not prime time and save them on my drive and watch them later. This would work great. Magenta, 
This is a line you can actually get now. I was talking about Ben John and how I could stream things for free. You can actually stream Netflix with this. They have a program called Netflix on us. You can contact them and find out more about it. Uh, it seems to get the HD screens. You want to step up to a little bit more. But if you mostly watch Netflix and that's 90% of your bandwidth, which is true for a lot of people, then uh, this would be fantastic. You could get like a six gigabyte plan added to your existing account and uh, it would just be relatively inexpensive, much cheaper than cable. And now it's free to go wherever you want and you're not going to have any limitations. If you if you have cable, like, you know, some people said, I have fiber to my rooftop. Why do I care? You probably don't. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have good access to decent internet or affordable internet. And this is a much better deal. Um, just things these things can do. These can travel with you. All of these operate on 12 volts. So you can take them with you. Take them into the woods. <laughs> what have you. And now it doesn't work in the middle of uh, Yosemite Valley where you're surrounded by granite. But it will work in a lot of different places. Anywhere a cell phone will. So let's take a look at these, see the kind of speeds we get and compare them against one or the other. And again, I'm going to be looking at some of the key features that they provide, like the band locking and um, shoot, let's, and like the TTL function a lot of people are looking for. They all work using this SIM card here. T-Mobile gives you a little tiny SIM card. All of these use a carrier to make it a bigger form factor. So it fits inside. And now it's the same card, just slightly bigger form factor. And on these modems, I call them modems. There, you plug them in. All of these, these ones are really easy. It's a cabinet latch. So you click, it's like a toaster. Down, up, down. All right, so I'm gonna plug this one in and we're gonna unplug this computer from the network and we're gonna run some basic tests on it. We're gonna see, uh, take a quick look at the firmware, see the different options that are available. And basically, just take a look at some of the speeds. All right, let's get to it. All right, so first up, we're looking at the Kufi, and this one is a router. It does receive all the different bands that I wanted to get, the 2, the 4, the 5, the uh, 12. I know that 66 is in there. Uh, so this did cover all the different bands. I could put it up on the screen again. But uh, what I wanted to see out of this one is, well, could it get the Internet for me? And it looks like it already has. I'm looking down at the bottom of my screen. It's connected. So I've plugged in an external antenna that I use, I'm going to use on all of them to make it fair. And uh, well, using the same SIM card. So let's take a quick peek. It is prime time, people streaming. So uh, I may not get amazing speeds, but hey, it's going to be fair. So here we are. This is Ookla and you can see T-Mobile's here and it's uh, chosen a server. Let's just click go and get this on. All right. So my ping is the latency to the servers. And so that's going to be an important score. I guess it's setting some stuff up. 39, that's not horrible. And that is 40. There's some decent speeds there. So 44, I almost saw 50. That was 48, 48. Yeah, come on. All right. Now, depending on the time of day, this could be much, much better. This is pretty much the worst case scenario. This is eight o'clock Pacific time. Hey, and that is outstanding. I'm getting over 20 megabit up. Now, if you have up speed issues, a lot of people are getting warnings when they're doing, um, you know, video chats and stuff. It's because your up speed's garbage. <laughs> My cable, for example, I'll get 80 down and six up. So th this is plenty down. And now what, what do you need in order to stream? Well, you need uh, to 1080p, you want about 12 and a half. So this is going to be perfect. In fact, I could have two streams on this. This would be no problem. Two streams and someone else surfing, it would be perfect. That is not a bad score. That's your Kufi. And let's take a quick look at uh, what Kufi has to offer since we're on this one. I think uh, the, I need to log into it, uh, into the firmware. 192.168. Dot, I think it's 1.1. Is that right? Yes, this is the Kufi. So all of them have different things. So here I can see this is where my computer's plugged in. I have it hardwired plugged in. It also does put out Wi Fi, it puts out 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. This uh, so here's my signal. You can see my signal. You can see it's T Mobile as my provider. You can see my, well, I'm going to blur it out, but that's my IMEI number. And I can go ahead and look at my network options. And there's 3G and 4G and, okay, so GobiNet. It's obviously working well right out of the box. These are good sets. 
All right, just a quick summary. This is a good modem. It has a lot of different bands and offers a really good price point, but I didn't see the key features people are looking for with the time to live and the channel locking. Let's move on. Let's go to the next one. Let's go ahead and set it up. And uh, I think I want to do this one next. Let's do the Mophie. This is the most expensive one. This is $299, but this is the Cadillac. It does have all the cool features. I'm gonna just plug it in real quick. Let's get to it. Here's the next one. This is the Mophie 4500. This is a special edition that is the uh, AT&T, T-Mobile and Verizon. I've got my SIM card in there. Let's see, it's booting up. I'll have the network soon. This one has some really cool features in it. You're going to see the firmware on this. It just lights up and there are so many different options. A lot of people were afraid, hey, which version do you have? Do you have SIM 7 or SIM 4 or whatever? Because they wanted to make sure that the options were there. I did find all the options I was looking for. Uh, this one has a cool one as well. You can, of course, fail over, which means you can plug in internet to the blue port. And uh, in the event that that went down, you would switch over automatically. So perfect on a kiosk or something like that. If you have a pop-up store, maybe it's a running event or something like that, you want to slide credit cards, one of these devices would be invaluable because you could actually bring the internet with you. So am I up? Awesome. I see a light is on. I had to reboot it a second time. Why? I forgot to move over the SIM card. The SIM card is your account. It is your network. It's like a phone. You've got to have the phone account. A lot of people seem a little confused. They're like, wait, so I get a blank SIM card and I don't have to pay any bills? No, you pay a bill for this. So that's why it's really important to pick your plan. It's all plugged in. I'm going to go to Ookla and remind ourselves what we got last time. We got a ping of 39 using the same antenna. We got 47 and half and 26. So I'm going to write those down. All right, I'm just going to hit go. 47 and a half, 26. So this one is going to go ahead and get us a ping. It's the same time of day. A lot of people watching Netflix. 31's not bad. That's not bad. 40. I forgot what we had before. <laughs> Seems about the same. So it's using the same antennas. It's pulling the same channel, most likely. Now I'm going to show you how there's more tools in here. Come on, get up to 20. Uh, there we go. That is nice. So I wouldn't get lost in the minutia because this is basically the same scores that I'm getting. But what you're really paying for here is A, the support. They give you a 1-800 number. And I have called them. They are a good team. They had a lot of good ideas for me. So um, let's hear. They're up in Canada. So a lot of people are like, what do I do if I live in Canada? Well, A, I'd call the Canadians with the best modem. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. This I went ahead and looked at the firmware. Let's type in this firmware, 192.168. And there's a slightly different. They could do a dot ten dot one. There. They call this Lucy. And I'm gonna go ahead and just log in, show you it. A lot of people were saying, I can't find these particular settings. Guess what? They have two different views of this. There's basic and advanced. So the one you may be looking for is maybe an advanced. Now, a lot of things I was expecting to find in advanced are actually in basic. In fact, I think they're mislabeled. There's actually more more features in basic than there are in advanced, which just doesn't make any sense. But hey, they're Canadian. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, uh, go here to Mophie Internal Modem. I actually love Canadians. They're great. Uh, let's see. But you, we have to tease each other, right? So here we go. You can check your signal strength. That is nice. Uh, here's the band lock. A lot of, we were talking about band lock. Uh, I'm pulling LTE band 2 right now, which is kind of interesting because I was getting better speeds on band 4. You can actually do a band scan. It'll show you all the different... I'm just going to do it. What it's going to do is scan all the different bands that are available in the air right now and show me the carrier that is attached to them. So a carrier wave is, you know, it's got ups and downs and stuff. It has a frequency attached to it. The higher the frequency, the more data that can go on there. The lower the frequency, the longer it's going to go. So they both have their place. If you're out in the sticks, you might be like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of looking at that, uh, that lower one. I just need 
a constant connection. I need a good connection. It doesn't have to be the fastest thing on the planet. Again, 5G. A lot of people are saying, I'm going to wait for 5G because I live out in the middle of nowhere. 5G is going to get you, it'll get you coverage. It's not going to get you high speed. It really isn't. The high speed needs to be on the high frequency carrier, which just like someone else's stereo, the high frequencies don't make it to you. It's the low frequencies that are going to make it to you. I don't know. If you've, it, used, it used to be popular. Someone else in traffic would have their boom box going and boom, boom, boom. And that's all you could hear. And you thought, are they really listening to boom, boom, boom? No, they're listening to the full range. But the boom, boom is the only thing that leaks outside their car. That's because low frequencies penetrate. Here you can see all the different frequencies that are being um, that are in the area. And as you can see, some of them are high frequency uh, carriers and some of them are low frequencies. Here we go. So bandwidth two, 15 up, 15 down. All right, that's going to be a good mixture of the two. I think right now I just bet, grabbed band four, which is 20 up and 20 down. What did I say I grabbed? I'll have to look at that again. Band five actually belongs to a different carrier, so don't care. 12, well, that's going to go a long distance. Notice how clear that signal is. If you were just saying, give me the best signal, you might actually get the 90 because it's your clearest. Oh, no, there's an 81 in there. It belongs to somebody else. That would be horrible, too. You are, For your fastest speeds, I'd be looking at 66. Oh, 71. Rah five and five uh 66 because it has 20 megahertz up and 20 megahertz down i'm getting a decent signal you want something ideally under 80 so there's the decibel gain right this is signal negative 99 and under 100 is good uh under 105 is okay uh but under 80 is amazing so you may want to play with different antenna solutions or move your rv around until you get the best uh signal that you can but here's where I focus my attention, on 4 and on 66. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. What did we have on the band lock? I'm not band locked right now. I have it set to auto, but it's pulling in 2, which, as we just saw, may not be my best solution. I could force it to band 4. Should we do that? Do we have time? I have the time. Let's just check it out. Let's see. We're clicking Finish. Oh, it's going to reboot. So I'll cut this part out. All right. You can see it set itself to B4 or band four. And now it's rebooting the router. I'll go back to waiting silently. All right. Well, it's back up. I'm logging back in to see I'm now on band four. So uh, let's see what we do. Mophie internal modem. Not only do I have a lot of stuff on the side, but there's nested stuff in here. You saw how that just opened up and now I can see all the bands. So band scanner, band lock, we're on band lock. Yes, I am locked. I'm locked to band four. And yes, it is indeed locked. So let's go ahead and check. Let's remind ourselves the scores we had before. 31, 42, 24. Oh, 24, 42, they flip. Let's go ahead and hit it. See if we get a better ping. 31 might be tough to beat. Let's take a look. 39. Now we're looking for 42. Yeah, it's right in the same ballpark. And 24. Now, this is a time of day thing, too. So maybe, you know, uh, and if it's signal and all of that. Yeah, I'm kind of liking band two right now as we're talking. I'm liking band two just as much. So at least at this time of day. So you may want to consider that because you know, we're always going to take a look at that stuff. Now, I don't know if I showed you this, but let's go ahead and take a look at this firmware real quick. I do want to show you I'm in basic mode. I can go to where was that internal modem settings down here. Everyone was saying, oh, there's no TTL settings. Here it is. Time to live. You can go ahead and change that. You can change it down or up. And basically, this is a latency with the system that allows you to get certain timings. There are, of course, I would normally set it to uh, let it pick itself. But sometimes you need to force it in order to get certain options. Uh, that's just the way it goes. So there you go, guys. That's pretty cool. Um, 
Let's go test the next one. The next one's going to be the Yecom. This is the least expensive one. This is only 99 bucks, but I did like the fact that it's I like the fact that it stands up. <laughs> That's kind of nice. I like the fact that it has external antenna capabilities because I'm going to plug an external antenna into it. I will put a link to the antenna that I've been using. I really like it. It has a it's a little disc. It's like a puck. It looks like a um a hockey puck. And it has two different wires, which is nice because you get the diversity antennas. You have a primary and you do have an auxiliary and being able to plug those in gives it a reference and it's really able to get a good signal this was about 49 bucks and i'll put a link to it because i've been thrilled with it it is both magnetic and sticky depending on your installation i use i put up some washers i screwed them into the house stuck it up there with the magnet it worked great so let's go um give this a shot Oh, really quick, let me show you what I'm doing each time. I'm actually taking the SIM card out of one modem and placing it into the next one. Now on this modem, we have a little door here. That's where your SIM card goes. We also have another door right here. And this is where your antennas go. Whoa, I just hit the microphone. That is a no-no, but I will try to squelch that out. But yeah, that's where your antennas go. That's where your SIM card goes. Your SIM card goes up, which makes it challenging, or actually it goes down. Makes it challenging to put in this carrier because it keeps wanting to slip out. There we go. Oh, that's looking better, right? All right. That slides in. Move it back and forth. We're good to go. All right. So now we have the Yecom. This is called the P21. I don't see that listed in here, but uh, there it is. The first line. This is the P21. And uh, I love the price point on this. It also has a feature where you can plug in a landline phone. That would be kind of cool. You can imagine be houseboating and you just put this out on the deck. Not only would you have internet for the kids, which should be fantastic, but you'd have a landline so you can actually dial out, etc. Kind of cool. Um, that worked pretty well. Someone asked me about the call quality. I need to play with that with some more. It looks like it's up and going and has signal and I'm up and ready. So let's just do a quick test on this. Uh, I didn't do any settings yet. I haven't locked bands or anything like that. It does have that option, by the way. Kind of cool. So let's be reminded of what we had. 39, 46, 20. I think we before we had 42, 24. So this is all in the same vein kind of thing. Let's take a quick look. See what we're getting now. Dun, 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 dun. 32. That's not a bad ping. But again, it can be the variability. It's like, you know, casting a die. Uh... 32 is not the same as 42, but you know, that is not a bad score. And because this is one third the cost, uh, you might be saying, hey, that's reasonable. And that is not a bad up score. And it, it could be that we're on a different band. We've done a different channel, whatever, or it could just be a time of day thing. You know, uh, Netflix is uh, is pretty awesome. And that's all, more than enough you need. All you need is 12 and a half down to watch 1080p. To watch 720p, you even need less. So this is going to be a wonderful experience. If you had this for your, uh, maybe you have a beach house or something like that, and you're going up for the weekend, bring this with you. Then you'll be able to watch Netflix. If you have one of these plans, like the Magenta, it comes with, now they have Netflix on us. And I was trying to ask the guy about it. He said some of the plans, they actually pay for Netflix for you too. And that sounds kind of cool. So a lot of these have different options, but there are plans out there that will allow you to stream for free with one of the most desirable, I'd say the most desirable, at least right now, streaming service. Well, there you have it. Three different 4G LTE routers and uh, different price points and different capabilities with different feature sets. So this Mophie 4500 is obviously uh, the, the Cadillac. It has all the great features. It has the ability to do the, the time to live. If you need time to live, there you go. If you want band locking, you've got that as well. Great. It has all the different channels that I need for Verizon, for AT&T, and for T-Mobile. So that's fantastic. Let's take a look at this one. This one is has all the different bands that I need. So perfect on the road solution is a, well, it's half the price. It's 159 bucks. It does have all the different bands, but it doesn't have some of the cool features like the band locking. At least I didn't find it. And it didn't have the cool features like the time to live, but uh, otherwise a very solid product. 
This one at 99 bucks, it's hard to beat it. It does have a limited support of the number of channels, but if it does fit your needs, this is a steal. It does have some really cool, uh, let me see, uh, here's the different bands. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, and 28. So if that's gonna fit your needs for where you need it to be, this one has some cool features. I really like this one. Uh, I think I've had a great time with it. It has some really good support for channel two and channel four. Those were huge for my at my work and my home. And uh, this one does work rather neat. It does have the, uh, the band locking. So if you do have a band that you wanna grab onto, this is neat. But of course, there's your number one. I'll put links to all three of these in the description below. It will help me if you take a look. I'll also put the antenna that I think is really, really cool. It is small. It's a hockey puck. If you have a uh, mobile solution you are mobile, you can slap, attach it to the top of your camper, whatever, and uh, it'll either stick with an adhesive or you can use it as a magnet, put it in a window. It's been great. Anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, and, uh, you know, take a look at your call, your provider, get someone on the line and talk to them about these different solutions. There are some streaming solutions that allow you to watch Netflix. Can't really beat that. And uh, remember, with Netflix, you can always uh, download movies to watch them offline. So uh, if I was on a camping trip or if I was using essentials, absolutely, I would do that and watch it offline. As anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give this thumbs up. It, it definitely helps out my channel. It helps the video float to the top. So uh, if you like these kind of things, please uh, give it to your friends. Send them a link. Uh, always helps. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.